Earlier this week, Vice President Mike Pence was giving a speech to this Alliance Defending Freedom group, which is actually the anti-LGBTQ group behind the uh, Baker court case. And during his little spiel to this anti-LGBTQ group, Mike Pence wanted to give them a little bit of advice on how to ignore the people criticizing them online. And he said, number one is spend more time on your knees than on the internet. Forgiveness is a great gift, he says. Spend more time on your knees than on the internet. You know, Mike Pence is a pretty bigoted guy, right? But I have to imagine that even Mike Pence understands what he just told people to do there. Mike Pence isn't that brain dead, is he? I mean, spend more time on your knees. Does he not know the, the double entendre he's throwing out here? That's what's so ridiculous about this story, right? I mean, obviously people on Twitter were very quick to jump in and point this out and make fun of him and laugh at him because that's what Mike Pence deserves, 100%. But there is actually a bigger underlying issue here. What we have here in the United States, other than a completely uh, tone deaf vice president, is a vice president who thinks that it's totally okay to discriminate against others, to persecute them for who they are. That's what his anti-LGBTQ feelings are all about. He hates people because of how they are. And he's telling this group that it's okay to do that. Ignore the people online calling you a bigot and telling you that you are in fact the horrible person. You are, by the way. Mike Pence says, just ignore it. Just be who you are. Be your hate filled selves and go around thinking that you're better than everyone else and that these people are going to hell because they're not exactly like you. Because let's cut through it, right? This isn't about, oh, my religion says it's bad. No. These people aren't like you, so you think they're evil. They don't have the same belief set as you, so you think they're evil. They may not be attracted to the same gender that you are, and therefore they are evil. They may worship a different God than you do, and therefore they are evil. And Mike Pence, with as weird as his comment was, was defending these people, saying that this is an okay way to be. The second highest office in the land, folks. We're one golf accident away from having President Mike Pence. And can you imagine the horrible anti-LGBTQ policies we'd get from him? Now, admittedly, we've gotten horrible ones out of Trump as well. And Trump is filled with hate, much like Mike Pence. And to be honest, I think that's why those two have made such a good pair. They may seem like polar opposites on the surface, but inside, they're both filled with a disgusting, bigoted version of hate that has no place at all in the United States. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.